Isaiah 8 verse 19. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep. So, Satan has the capacity to peep. And what it means, you know, when you're watching a movie, for instance, and I visit your house, and I come to the sitting room, and I see a scene in the movie. Can I tell the whole story of the movie? It was just a scene I saw. So Satan peeps. Satan does not see. He just, he sees a scene. Then he tries to make sense out of the scene he has seen. Most of the time he's wrong. Except you open your mouth to not educate him. You know, when he came into the garden of Eden and met Eve, he said, did God say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? That was wrong. That was accurate. That was not accurate. But he was looking, his data bank was limited because he's a peeping spirit. He needed Eve to now support him, to give him full information for him to understand the context of what was happening. If we allow the devil with the information he has alone, he cannot fight you successfully and win. But he needs you to put you in a situation where you start speaking. If you speak too much, then you don't understand warfare. Because one of the secrets God gave Israel when they were to conquer Jericho was to go by the way of an oath of silence. can stir you up and you're talking that lost and you go back and come around that circle again and said you meet satan there again if you talk too much it means you are not strong you are not strong you are not strong If circumstances and if, if Satan can move through the circumstances and make you lose your anger, if a witch really comes on your case, you will not survive it. You will not. Press me. Press me well. For many years, you will not get the delight you seek. Because I have learned from the Lord. There is a time to speak and there is a time keep silence without you arming the devil with information his peeping abilities give him limited range of insight so Satan comes with questions did God say what did God tell you what did God do you see, remember in Bethlehem, Ephrata, when the wise men came into the territory, huh? and they, they asked Herod, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and I come to worship him. Herod didn't have the answer to that question. He now called the scribes. He said, you guys are the ones that write the sacred writings. What is the answer to this question? The scribes had the knowledge, because... They are the custodians of revelatory powers. They say in Bethlehem, Ephrata. For those it is written by the prophets. You see, it was the scribes that informed the principality of the location that the thing will happen. And from that point, Herod now decreed that they should kill two children, two years and under, that were born. According to the time that he diligently inquired from the wise men. Satan will weaponize every information that you give him and use it to contend with you. How I wish I had time. Many of you will see that you are the one that gave Satan the, the barrel, the double barrel that is using against your life. So if we are kingdom men and we are going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom of God, we must be taught warfare. Oh, that's, that's how I grew. I grew by war. How many of you saw the picture of my vehicle when I was going to London? A tanker, 40,000 liters of petrol. We lost the brake. It was my car he used to support. Meanwhile, in prayer in the night, one of us had seen that there were three graves. And those were the graves of the three people sitting at the back. My wife, 
her PA and my own PA, Philip B, that just got married. Three of them were at the back in my Benz. I was in the front with the driver and they were carrying my daughter at the back and the tanker. Do you know, do you know that when they hit us, where we recorded, okay, they hit us here, we recovered ourselves where that wall is. How we got there, we, we can't account for how we arrived at that place. So, it was when I came, because when they hit, my computer, my laptop bag fell. If it fell there, it means we were there at some point. But where we found ourselves was where that wall was. Then I now understood the vision that there were three graves. So I went and checked the three people at the back. They were they were intact. I said, okay. How are you? Are you okay? It's all right. Then I now told Satan, you need to do more than this to catch my attention. But that's how I proceeded to the UK. God moved. See, my promotion it comes when Satan attempts and he fails. Then they upgrade me. You will remain in this level until you begin to learn the ways of warfare. Most of us, weapons, we give Satan the weapons that he uses to fight us. When they shall say unto you, seek them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and mutter mutterings and enchantments giving instructions to demons what was the counsel he gave them he said should not a people seek unto their own god should we need to pass from the living to the dead because it's true the instrument of a familiar spirit that Necromancy is possible. Necromancy is the ability to consult the dead through the instrumentality of a familiar spirit. That's what is described in this scripture. It says, should not a people seek their God. And in this place, he didn't say Jehovah. He said, their God. Still recommending that you should be strong in the Lord. First, spiritual trick is when you know you are under attack it is a luxury that you cannot afford to lose your temper write it down those of you that easily get angry you, you don't understand it will set you back many light years behind Have you written that down? What did I say? Losing your anger is a luxury that you cannot afford during a time of spiritual warfare. Especially for a woman, I don't want to go into details yet. Some there are women that want to conceive or ladies that want to get married. Anger. If you still trade in anger, you are not ready for a miracle. And I cannot explain tonight. I don't have time. You are trusting God for a breakthrough. And you still have time to be angry. Are you there? Number two. During times of spiritual warfare, you must pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. When you pray in the afternoon, you pray at the tent, you pray in the night. You pray in the afternoon, you pray at the tent, you pray in the night. Pray in the afternoon, you pray at the tent, you pray in the night. Continue like that until the season changes. During a time of spiritual warfare, reduce your eating to the barest minimum. The reason behind fasting, the idea of fasting, is starving your flesh so that you can be more stuffed in your spirit, more sensitive 
in your spirit because you will need directives from God in a situation of warfare for you to escape or for you to do damage to the kingdom of darkness so you need to be in a state that God can reach you even with the slightest whisper how many points did I give you there? In the place of prayer, as you exercise your spirit in prayer, what you are looking for is an inspired word from God. Not just the scriptures. The one God says, speaks into your spirit. An inspired word of God. That will become the sword of the spirit that you use to defeat the, the dragon. Shut down anger. Anger gives Satan an outlet and announces his dominion over your life. So he will have power over a decision that you need intervention the most. Satan will have power over it. And that's how he, he, he structures delay. That's how he facilitates delay in the life of many people. Those outbursts, that's where you miss it. Those outbursts, that's where you miss it. I said those outbursts, that is where you miss it. Yeah, that's where you miss it. I don't want to go into details. If you can repent, God will bring back the season that you have lost. If I see that you have missed four doors already. Four doors. What you miss because of your anger, what you miss, there are some things you miss. If God doesn't help you, you can get it again. What does it mean to be meek? It means you are not easily offended and you do not easily offend. That is a warrior. That's the state of a warrior. Put him under pressure. He's not offended. Insult him. He doesn't reply. Lie against him, he will not even, he doesn't feel there is any need for him to defend himself. Continue with your lie. And if you see a man that can allow you to lie against him and you keep quiet, it means he's deep with God. He's deep. He knows that your lie cannot produce anything that will hinder the purpose of God. It's a sign of depth. But when you see a man that is accused and is everywhere on social media trying to defend himself, he has lost God long ago. What he is is a parrot. I'm going to pray. Thus, in the days to come, the Lord will teach your hands to fight and your fingers to war. Everything went against me. People that were close to me, they turned their backs on me. It was Satan. I knew it. I knew that they were good men. And I did not take them for their actions to be equivalent to the actions. They turned their backs. It's on record. But I told God, that if I'm the only man standing, I will still be standing. Because you didn't talk to them. It was me you appeared to. And I will never deny that. Even if you, they take a gun and put on my head, I will say you appeared to me. Can we pray tonight? We'll continue. Maybe some other time. Then I will show you the things I have seen. I have seen spirits come to my room. They were sent to destroy me. The people that sent the spirits were destroyed. Not once, not twice. Yeah. Can we pray in a moment? <laughs>